subscribe to bizbo and press the bell icon see boring news turn into enjoyable stories if the indo park border fog body spray ad were to be made today janab kya chal raha hai ab batao shanti chal rahi hai what will come as a surprise to probably most people is that there has been a complete cease fire along the loc since a whole year ever since the director generals of military operations of both countries took a measured call on the issue reportedly back channel talks between national security adviser ajit doval and his pakistani counterpart mohid yusuf led to this detent surprisingly pakistan has largely adhered to the cease fire only 6 incidents of violations from the pakistani side took place from february 25th to june 30th 2021 In fact, zero incidents in the valley. Those 60 to 70 Pakistani terrorists are still active. Before the current ceasefire, 740 violations were recorded in Jan Feb 2021 alone, while 2020 saw an all-time high of 5,100. The border is this calm for the first time in almost 15 years since Vajpayee and Musharraf agreed to a ceasefire in 2003. a peace that lasted over 5 years and was shattered by the 2611 mumbai attacks in 2008 villagers in the border village of chakande bag are once again a happy lot we can cultivate land and graze our cattle easily now how long this one will last is anybody's guess but right now pakistan is heavily in debt and doesn't have the money to finance terror this turn of events will allow india to peacefully hold assembly elections after an 8 year gap the first since abrogating article 370 and kashmir becoming a union territory in august 2019 politicians have also started holding election rallies just like in other states and among the usual lot of hopefuls stands a somewhat new face in the crowd somewhat new because gulam nabi azad was once chief minister of kashmir under sonia gandhi but has recently been sidelined from the congress along with 22 other ministers including kapil sibal anand sharma and shashi tharoor in famously called the group of 23 and just like the us company 23 and me set up by ann wisiski ex wife of google co-founder sergey brin that analyzes your dna for early markers of terminal disease this group of 23 has been questioning the very dna of the congress by challenging the dynasty's hegemony within the party for his temerity azad was removed as aicc general secretary dropped from the disciplinary action committee and omitted from the star campaigners list for the 2021 assembly elections in five states out in the cold in the twilight of his career the now septuagenarian azad seems to have got a new lease of political life azad went to jammu and kashmir and started campaigning on a congress platform drawing huge crowds though demanding statehood for jammu and kashmir he maintained silence on article 370 matter is in the supreme court suddenly worried about the possibility that like other senior leaders jyoti rajesh sindhya jiten prasada and rp singh azad too might join hands with the bjp and help them form a government in kashmir fearful the congress quickly reinstated him as star campaigner for the up polls so let's see how likely someone like azad a lifetime congressman may jump ship briefly let's take you away from the world of politics and into the world of ticker tape our partner for today's video this week let's explore the mutual fund screener option the home screen for this contains the entire universe of almost 1 and 1/2 thousand mutual funds almost impossible for any individual investor to analyze It's arranged in descending order of AUM or assets under management. You can see its 3 years CAGR or compounded annual growth rate on which you can arrange it as well. And let's have a look at the top performing funds. Wow, that pop up tells you that it was 28 at some point and now it's almost 140. Amazing. Let's add it to our watch list and go ahead. Here are options to arrange fund under commodity, debt, equity hybrid etc and some filtering options too oh wow so many quant funds doing well let's see infrastructure that looks safer and wow look at that growth no red flags either this way you can explore more on tickertape.in and get a free 3 months pro account when you sign in through the link given in the description actually the love story between gulam nabi azad 
and Narendra Modi started a while back in 2006 when Azad personally accompanied rescued Gujarati tourists from a terrorist attack back to the airport like a family member. Their bond had deepened while they were chief ministers and Azad spoke fondly of Modi at his farewell speech in the Rajya Sabha in Feb 2021. At times we had fights but you never took my words personally. While Modi cried a river and reciprocated in similar vein with a tantalizing offer. I will not let you retire. My doors are always open for you. Later in Jan 2022 The Modi government awarded him the Padma Bhushan, the country's third highest civilian award, which Azad humbly accepted. I am happy you recognized my public service and record of four decades. All the while Congress loyalists urged him to refuse it, like CPM leader Buddhadev Bhattacharjee did. Right thing to do if he wants to be Azad free, not a gulam, slave. But the G23 egged him on. Shabash, well deserved. Speculation is rife that Azad is going to do an Amarinder Singh in Kashmir that is form a political party of his own and join hands with BJP after elections if they together get enough seats Azad perfectly fits the bill of a moderate muslim face to be its CM candidate it would also relegate the ever present Abdullah and Mufti families to also ranks but can that happen can the two put together enough seats to form a government The BJP knows that only winning a majority in their bastion of Jammu will not be sufficient to stake a claim. However, they can make use of the much delayed delimitation, a process by which polling boundaries are changed to one's advantage, called gerrymandering in the US. This long delayed process is being first done in Kashmir, probably so that it can begin with a fresh slate after Article 370 was withdrawn. However, The second proposed draft of delimitation submitted by a committee headed by former justice Ranjana Prakash Desai was rejected by all non-BJP parties even by Apni Party and People's Conference considered close to BJP as their existing strongholds have been threatened maps of all 90 constituencies have been reconfigured while 28 have been renamed 17 in Jammu 11 in Kashmir some constituencies have been completely deleted 9 in Jammu and 10 in Kashmir. It adds just one seat in Muslim dominated Kashmir, increasing the seat tally of the valley from 46 to 47. However, it proposes to increase 6 seats in the Hindu majority Jammu region, taking their tally from 37 to 43. This despite the population in Kashmir valley being 69 lakh as compared to Jammu's 53 lakhs. Though in all fairness, both should have approximately an equal number of population per seat. Mathematically, the Kashmir Valley should have either 56 or 51 seats, but the Gupkar Alliance may want 51. While population may be the main factor to consider, there are others as well. Problems with access to polling booths like difficult geographical terrain, hardships faced by persons living in areas adjoining the international border, areas that get cut off due to severe climatic conditions, communication facilities or lack thereof. Gulam Nabi Azad however took his time before criticizing delimitation the job looks as if it has been done by a bad tailor because he is that rare muslim politician from jammu having won in his hometown baderwa in the 2006 by election and the 2008 assembly elections while the modi government did try to be transparent in the delimitation process by involving national conferences farooq abdullah hasnain masoodi and akbar lone They were opaque in their logic of redrawing constituencies when it came to deciding on increasing seats. In Jammu, BJP will look to consolidate its 62.5% Hindu vote bank, while Azad can do the same in the Muslim majority Peer Panjal and Chenab Valley districts. If they sweep Jammu's 43 seats, they can rely on Apni Party and People's Conference to cobble up the required numbers to cross the halfway mark. If the changes are accepted or enforced the delimitation proposal can make Kashmir Valley electorally redundant the challenge for Azad will be whether he can win without the Congress banner and get four Kashmir seats the party won in 2014 if BJP's plan is successful and they are able to form the government they can pass a resolution in the state assembly to justify the abrogation of article 370 It is against this backdrop that the peace on the LOC should be seen and as a major diplomatic victory for the Modi government.
If the head of the Lahore's Chamber of Commerce is to be believed, Pakistan is craving to restart trade with India. If things improve between the two neighbours, Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi could visit Pakistan soon. It has made several overtures recently. Army Chief Kamar Javed Bajwa talked about peace for the first time since the Balakot strike. Imran Khan didn't refer to Kashmir in a virtual SARC meeting on the pandemic. He took action against Hafiz Saeed and Zakir Rahman Lakhvi for terror financing. Reciprocating the gesture, India allowed Imran Khan to fly through its airspace for his visit to Sri Lanka. Kashmir Day, a day on which there would be anti-India rallies galore, went off quietly this year. Could it be that Kashmir is giving India yet another opportunity for a fresh start and Pakistan is clandestinely supporting India's democratic process? Bizbo's Limerick There has been a lull on the LOC front, giving respite to those bearing the brunt. In the midst of detent, an old war horse went. Can he pull off an incredulous stunt? You will also find these sources listed in the video description section. Do subscribe if you haven't already and please comment, like and share. We have over 350 videos on our channels on various news topics.